Hello everyone. There's one object in the Babylon 5 universe that's shrouded in mystery, and that is the Triluminary. The Triluminary is a triangle object that the Great Council used for religious significance. The Triluminary was given to the Great Council by Valen, where it was programmed for it to glow when it detected Valen's DNA. There are three Triluminaries that are in existence. The Triluminary was traditionally used to induct new members of the Great Council. Interesting fact, if you never watched Babylon 5 in the beginning, there is a scene where Delenn was being inducted into the Great Council and the Triluminary glowed during the ceremony, which means Delenn is one of Valen's descendants, or Sinclair's descendants. Sorry for the spoilers, but if you haven't seen the part where Sinclair transformed into Valen, then you should probably get back to watching Babylon 5, because there's going to be a lot of spoilers in this video. At the end of Season 1 of Babylon 5, we find out that the Triluminae has the capability of putting an individual into stasis and then transforming them. My theory is that it can only transform an individual into a full Membari, a human, or into some kind of human Membari hybrid. The question is, do you have to be Valen or one of the, his descendants for the Triluminae to transform you? My answer would be yes. The Triluminae only activates once it encounters Valen's DNA. The Triluminary was the only reason why the humans were not destroyed by the Membari. At the Battle of the Line, Jeffrey Sinclair was in the Star Fury fighter and was captured. He was interrogated by the Grey Council, and during the interrogation, they used the Triluminary. It glowed which indicated that he had Valen's soul. Since Membari don't kill all the Membari, they surrendered. There is another question that formed when I was doing research for this video. That in Season 2 Episode 1, it was stated by Lanier that after they used a Triluminary, or as Lanier referred it as, Sinclair was scanned, the Great Council did not believe it and brought in other humans onto the ship to also be scanned. These scans showed that these humans had Membari souls, or Valen's DNA. One thing we must remember is when Lanier mentioned that Membari thought Membari souls were being reborn into humans, that they did not know that the Triluminary only glowed when it traced Valen's DNA. This brought up so many questions. Why did the Triluminary glow for these humans? And how is it possible for these humans to have Valen's DNA? I came up with two possible conclusions. First, when they were writing Babylon 5 in the beginning, did they forget that in Season 2 they mentioned that other humans were scanned? Also, the Triluminary was only supposed to glow when it came into contact with Valen's DNA. Or another possible conclusion is that the Triluminary glows if it traces any kind of Valen's DNA, and since most humans are related, it glows. The reason why the Triluminary does not glow for other Membari is because it's only been a thousand years since Valen's has been around. And because Membari have long lifespans and don't have many children, it only makes sense that there's only probably a few dozen Membari that have Valen's DNA. What's your thoughts on this subject? Do you agree with me or not? I would like to see your thoughts in the comments below. If you're curious to know more about if Babylon 5 is better than Babylon 4, please select the video on the right. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Also, click on the notification bell to keep yourself updated on my channel. Thank you for watching Utopian Broadcast. I hope to see you next time on the Utopian Broadcast channel. Thank you.